Hello everybody, I want to show you another property today. This is actually a duplex. I want to see what you guys think, uh, see how you guys like it. Uh, and then also to show you how it makes sense as an investment when you're starting a real estate and you're buying two units or more, up to four. This is in the city of Riverside. Pretty nice quiet street, seems like. And this is a duplex. Um, it's 2,100 square feet of construction and about 8,200 of uh, lot, lot size. So, let me show you how it looks on the inside. And the breakdown, it's supposed to be two bedroom, one bed, the back unit, and two bedroom, two bed in the front. So, as you walk into, into the living room, that entrance there leads to the bedrooms and the bathrooms. Here goes to your kitchen. It's nice and spacious. And then you have your dining room here. And then these also leads to the bedrooms here. So you have one here. And then you have your first bathroom here. This is a full bathroom then you have your next bedroom here you have a little uh, closet in between bedrooms here and then you have the third one up here so this one's pretty cool because I don't know how to say you choose to rent a room for extra income or or a young adult at home that wants their own privacy uh, is good as one entrance. Not necessarily for teens, I know, uh, but for maybe a young adult who wants privacy that still lives at home and access to the bathroom here. So that'll be the third one. So technically this is supposed to be a two bedroom, two bath, but it's actually a three two. So when that happens, then we have to see what's permitted, what's not, and nevertheless, you're taking it as is. This property was built in 1953, and uh, this is in the uh, Riverside County. So during that time, uh, records from uh, 1940 to any, anything before 1960, I'd have to double check the exact date is, but anything be early on like that, we don't have records for in county because uh, county records burned down at some point. And so we can't verify what's permitted and what's not. The only way to check to see if it's what's permitted is if, if you actually order uh, a decedent to come and check uh, if the property meets the code or not. So there you have it. I'll show you the other one. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta show you this other area here because this is the backyard. One of the things that suffers in units no privacy, right? You're next to somebody, you leave somebody on uh, top of you, somebody below you, somebody next to you, somebody attached to you. This one, it's two units and they're separated and they're fen fenced in. So then this way uh, you have privacy. You see, you have a little, little backyard. And so then the back unit has its own uh, privacy in their own space. So that's a big, that's a big plus. It's a big plus for ownership. And it's a big plus for renters you know renters you know will want privacy so this is a good one this second unit so what's priceless of by units like i was saying on the front unit is the privacy privacy is a big factor and then there's separation here especially if you're, if you're gonna occupy one at the beginning when you're first starting real estate you know it's worth it's worth buying units where you're gonna occupy one and rent the other because it helps you with your mortgage and you grow. You grow with the property. So it's a big deal. And so then having this privacy and separation is actually priceless, you know? So you may look at another property that is also two units, but they're next to each other, in front of each other, on top of each other, next to each other, whatever the case may be. It's not as attractive as, as privacy and separation, right? Uh, so. Yeah, so there you go. 
And this property's asking price is 469,000. We just sold it above asking price. And uh, this is how this back unit looks like. So it's nice and spacious, it's fresh. It feels pretty fresh. You have room number one. This is, again, it's also supposed to be two bedroom, one bath. It's nice and spacious too. I like it. You have your other room here. It's nice and big, nice and spacious. Cool. And then you have your kitchen. This is called a step saver because it's uh, it's a it's a small kitchen. It's a, a kitchen that is a little bit narrow. Uh, I prefer that way myself. I had a video on a, on a passive property where the kitchen is like that, and uh, I prefer that. I'd rather have a more space in in the living room than in the kitchen this back unit is a two bedroom uh one bath and it's smaller than the front unit the front unit is a three bedroom two bath and because it's bigger it depends on the needs of your family so if you have a bigger family then you occupy the front and rent the back or vice versa uh, my clients are a couple and they it, like this can be ideal it's up to them of course i'm not sure what they're going to choose uh but then the front unit is a bigger unit so you collect even bigger rent and the privacy privacy is a big deal okay cool so i hope you like this video i know youtube likes likes and so please like the video uh you know it help it helps youtube recognize me as somebody who makes videos i try to make videos every week uh, particularly on properties a lot of people ask me hey do more videos of properties especially because right now there's no open houses available or allowed so this will be a form of showing people the property so give it a like please subscribe to the channel makes a difference and just like I'm here to make a difference so please call me anytime always available if you're looking to sell your home in any of these uh, tri-county area or fourth county area which LA County Riverside County LA uh, San Bernardino County and Orange County. I'm here to serve the community. Reach out anytime. Talk to you soon. Bye.